Oh, what's up, y'all? I just woke up. That's why I look so crusty and crazy. I'm so tired. It's like, what time is it? It's 9.26. I don't know why I'm so tired. I think because I'm broke. <laughs> I blame everything on broke. I feel like when I had money, I was not this tired. I was going to the gym, waking up early, eating good, all that stuff. I just been falling off the wagon. So I'm going to try to get back on the wagon today. First day back in the gym in three weeks. So we're going to get that. I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face and, you know, get the day started. So um, take y'all with me. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, like, all that good shit. All that good jazz. All right. All right, y'all, just made it to the bathroom. I just checked my email, too, and I had, like, I was so excited because I got two job offers. So I'm like, oh. And then when I checked the location, it's like, fuck, because I stay in Baton Rouge. The first one, I really wasn't even really feeling it, but I was going to do it anyways. It's entry-level roofing, like, put roofing on people's houses. But it's all the way in Lafayette. I'm like, damn, that's an hour and a half. That's too far. So there's another job. This other job is perfect. It's 7.30 to 4 o'clock. I'm getting up you know, super early, so I can go to the gym after. I can do whatever. I have the whole day, the rest of the day to myself. We get weekends off. You don't work on the weekends. It's Monday through Friday. Perfect. All I do is like that. It's an analytic job, like specialist. I just put in work, like put in data all day. I'm like, damn. But it's in New Orleans, an hour and six minutes away. I'm not doing that. Because then I have to wake up at like 5 30 just to get to work every day. I, 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 can't, I can see myself doing it for about a week. And after that, I'm going to get tired of it. So. <sighs> No job, still. Bro, that's how you know I've been broke. I've been thugging with the sample size that the dermatologist gave me for about a month. Like, that was hard, bro. y'all i'm in the kitchen because i'm finna eat but no gym today because i realized i'm broke <laughs> and my subscription was haven't been paid for this month so i have money coming in but i thought it was gonna be in but oh shit hold on y'all let me go more short my hands god damn all right like i was saying i'm not going to the gym because my subscription was not paid for this month so i'm just gonna run around the lake okay anyways I'm gonna show y'all how to make broke coffee. <laughs> Cause I used to be one of the people that go to like Starbucks every day, but we boycott Starbucks. So I used to go to um, community coffee every day, but I'm broke. So I've been making my own coffee. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make your own coffee. You gonna need some milk, some protein, some honey and some coffee. All right, those are three things. Well, first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a cup. Like this, I'm gonna put some water in it and warm it up in the microwave. You know, what? You can't see me. Then you're gonna get your coffee. Pour it, pour it, pour it, pour it. Ooh, I thought I saw somebody. What the fuck? That scared the hell out of me. Pour your coffee in there. You're gonna pour your milk. Scoop of protein powder. Some honey. And then we'll get you. I don't know. Can you see the next blender? Yeah, it's right there. There you 
get our mason jar. You wanna get your hot milk, I mean, shit, your hot water. He's gonna pour it in there. In the coffee. Pour this in there. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna put coffee. <clears throat> There you go. So good. I think I need some more coffee. It's good, I swear. But now I'm gonna make breakfast. Let me just make some. Oh, I'm like, oh shit. I already got one cut. I ain't even know. Like, prepare what I put on my toast. I put bananas, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. Now we wait till the toast get done. I think I like this little life. All right, so now we will put the peanut butter on the toast. But if I so right, don't bring them in the But I miss the girl that I like to hear. And I like to hear. Okay, this is my breakfast. I was trying to get like an aesthetically pleasing picture, but I don't feel like using all them damn dishes. I'm just going to use like... Fuck it. Fuck it all. So this is what I'm wearing. Hopefully y'all can see. It's kind of hard recording with a phone, with a um, with a phone. But all right, y'all. I'm on the way to the gym. I mean, fuck. I keep saying the gym. I need to get some money so I go to the gym. I hate being this broke. All right, but anyway, I'm on the way to the park to go run. I hate running, but I might as well get into it so I could lose all the fat that I did gain within the three weeks of not going to the gym and within the three weeks of eating like shit. Cause I've been like, not depressed. I hate claiming that energy. Like I never said I'm depressed, but this type of phase that I'm in, like not being financially powerful, you know, has put me in, I guess, I guess a kind of like negative mindset. So yeah, I've been like not feeling it, eating bad, not going, not really doing any kind of physical activity. But today's the day. I'm quitting that, I'm stopping that. No, I have not. All right, y'all, I just made it to the park. Oh my God, I feel like working out. I, and I, it's like, ever since I went broke, Everything ran out. Like, I don't have any more pre-workout, and I take pre-work every time before I run, because I don't have any energy. So now I'm gonna have to just 
I'm gonna just have to like find the motivation of not wanting to be fat. I need to keep looking over here. I keep looking over there. I ran out of lotion, like body lotion. Um, the little sample size I've been using, that shit's running out. It's almost gone. It's like, God. <laughs> it's all right, but we're gonna try to get this workout in. I wanna at least get like four miles in. I'm not gonna run all four miles. I know that for sure. But at least try to get four miles in, sweat a lot. Three hours later. Yeah, I'm so tired. And I got a sunburn, so my face hurts, but uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home, cook, shower, lay down for a little bit, and then go make some money. Okay, y'all, I said I was gonna record when I get home, but I just had like a a moment, and I was just thinking, I was like, like, uh, like this was kind of like a blessing in disguise. Like me being, I know like, oh, you like being broke? No, obviously I don't like, like, like being broke. And I don't like being jobless, but I'm like, look at all the stuff I finally started, I guess, accomplishing or start doing since I haven't been employed and been broke. I started journaling. I always thought I was gonna start journaling, never did. I finally started journaling. Said I wanted to do YouTube, never did YouTube. This is my first time ever like actually recording and, you know, doing the YouTube thing. Started posting more consistently on my fitness Instagram. Started posting more consistently on my TikTok and more relevant things. I used to just do a dance just to say I did a post. I used to just do like a little cute sound and put like a little relatable, funny words on there just to say I posted, you know what I'm saying? But now I've like come to terms, got a plan, start actually like initiating. Cause I like used to always wait and be like, oh, gotta wait for the perfect time. I gotta get my face more clear. I gotta get my teeth more straight, get my teeth more white, lose more weight, get ripped, do this, get more money, just all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, realize that it's never the perfect time. So I feel like God did this for two reasons. It gave me the mental, like the, like it changed me, it's changing, it's changing me mentally. First it got, it humbled me. Cause I was, I was very much like spoiled in a way, very thought the world owed me something. This is humbling me, you know, making me, into an actual grown man. It's helping me realize the goals I have and actually taking initiative to meet those goals instead of having just goals and sitting on the fucking couch thinking they're gonna come to me. Or wait for the perfect time when there's no perfect time. Start now, why wait for tomorrow? So. All right, y'all, I'm finna cook my food. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm finna cook. Well, some of it's already cooked already. Like, let me show you. Look some broth. Some broccoli. Some cauliflower. Gonna come here with some potatoes. Okay, y'all, okay, this should be enough for today. And tomorrow. So I'm gonna fix my plate today. I'm gonna fix my plate tomorrow. Get some little water. Get your potatoes. Got some potatoes. This is for tomorrow. This is for today. All right. All right, Sean, I'm back in the car because um, it's time to go make some money. It's time to go make some money. I know y'all probably like, oh, I thought she was unemployed. I am unemployed. Um, but I still have bills. I still have gas to pay and I still got to eat groceries. I'm not on food stamps, which I was, but I'm not. So, uh, my only source of income right now, um, well, the only access to money making is DoorDash for me. Fucking hate doing DoorDash. It makes me like depressed as fuck, but for to do it, gotta make some money. See, I have bills that's due. So my goal today is to get a hundred dollars, make a hundred dollars. I'm going to start like at five and I want to be done by nine, so hopefully I get it. I want to make a hundred dollars every day this week, cause I'm also going to the Drake concert next week. And I already know y'all like, how the fuck you went to a concert? And you broke. I've been purchasing tickets when I wasn't broke. All right, and I tried to sell them, nobody bought them. So I was like, you know, I'm finna just enjoy the time. Negative. Look at the thing it say. Overdraft. A negative. A nigga broke for real. Like, not trying to be funny. Like I'm broke as fuck. But you know what I'm saying? 
major setback. Wait, minor setback for a major comeback. So it's okay. I mean, I know no, nobody wanted a broke nigga right now. I don't want to be broke, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause the bliss are right around the corner. All right, let me shut the fuck up and let me start going to make some money. All right, I got my first order. Oh my God. I'll be back, y'all. All right, oh, shit, God damn. All right, got the order. 20, she stayed 22 minutes away, like, God damn. All right, y'all, I'm gonna hit y'all up when I get, like, you know, in the groove of it. Just getting started, so. All right, y'all, I should've brought my light because this light's ugly. But, um, I'm on my last order because it's not, I know it's not, it's, it's 8.30, well, 8.24. I did not hit me $100, I meant 80. I feel like if I keep going to nine, I will have 100, but my phone's on 4%. I don't know why I fucking forgot my charger. This is dumb. So tomorrow I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna hit my charger, I'm gonna be ready. I'm, I'm gonna hit my goal, but I thought I said it good. Got $80, you know. All right, y'all, I just got out the shower. Uh, did all my moisturize and stuff. I just didn't brush my TV yet because I'm finna eat dinner, I'm finna eat some yogurt. And then I'm gonna run it to y'all, talk to y'all, and then close this vlog out. And then I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm gonna edit this vlog. Hopefully have it up by tomorrow. No, I ain't gonna guarantee it because it's my first time doing this. And I'm gonna apply for some more jobs because this living broke stuff I ain't gonna last that long. All right. All right, y'all, I'm so mad. I dropped the fucking light and it like broke. I'm gonna show y'all. I bought this, the Alex Earl light I'm using. And it fucking broke. Like it just broke. Fuck. Edit this video. Um, First I'm gonna eat and watch some like Loki. Uh, this is hard. I'm gonna eat and watch. Here you go. Turn back on, stupid bitch. There we go. I'm gonna eat, watch Loki, and then, oh, edit this video.